What's up guys, Randy here, just wanted to talk with you guys briefly, real quick, I didn't think this warranted a whole podcast, but something that I found interesting, as we're getting closer to the start of training camp, I feel like there's a very underrated topic at hand, revolved around two members of the Minnesota Vikings, one on offense and one on defense, I'm talking about Gary Kubiak and Everson Griffin. And how they relate with one another is the fresh start that they're getting in 2019 after dealing with circumstances that were really just beyond their control and forced them to miss a period of time. In the case of Everson Griffin, yes, we're well aware he returned in the middle of the 2018 season after missing five games. But when you're trying to reestablish yourself after missing over a quarter of the season in this sport, it can be a bit challenging and We're all somewhat vaguely aware of the events that transpired with Griffin last year, and I'm not going to try to conclude a cause for it because, quite frankly, I don't know. And if anyone should tell this story, it should be Everson Griffin. If anyone's going to tell it, it should be him if he decides to do that. Bottom line, I'm very happy for Everson Griffin. He's had the whole offseason to break away and spend time with his family, to reboot, and now he's returning to his sport his job, something that really appears to mean a heck of a lot to this guy. So I couldn't be happier for him. And of course, I've been of the mindset that, hey, we can cut him. We've got Stephen Weatherly, and I still feel that way. But let's say if they were to do that, if the Vikings were to say, let's waive him out of his contract, it would really be irrelevant because Everson Griffin, whether it's on the Vikings or another team, he would be on an NFL roster in 2019, regardless of whoever it is. He's simply too talented not to be. In the case of Gary Kubiak, we're talking about a guy who previously went from being a Super Bowl champion head coach to suddenly having to abruptly retire due to physical ailments, in which he has had a history of before that. And When the news came out that he was looking to get back into the game, I'm assuming after the blessing of his family and his personal doctors, I was saying to myself, banging down the doors, like, of course, let's bring this dude to Minnesota. Hell yeah, we could use him. But bigger picture, very happy for Gary Kubiak as well. He gets back to doing what it is that he loves, man. And life can be tough. I'm not about sap stories, but I just find these two so inspirational because When life throws a jab cross hook at you out of nowhere and it's out of your control, it can be tough, man. It can put you in a bind. And when it takes you out of your element, what it is that you love doing, it can be really, really rough. But these dudes, they overcame whatever it is that they had to go through. Uh, Everson Griffin with mental health, uh, Gary Kubiak with the physical health, they both had to go through a grind to get back. I'm hoping that they take care of themselves. Skull to you. I wish you guys the best of luck. We got the podcast on Saturday and we'll see you then.